it was just a matter of time before you would hear Oprah's name. She too is dragged into the Diddy trafficking and extortion mess. We all know Diddy has been dominating headlines. And if that wasn't wild enough, Denzel Washington is the one who blew the whistle on Oprah. For most people, Diddy is a music legend, a self-made billionaire worth around a billion dollars. But in just one year, he's gone from being rap royalty to facing accusations as one of the most dangerous offenders out there. Right now, he's locked up at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, which has the reputation of being one of the toughest prisons around. They call it Hell on Earth. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs spent his first night behind bars inside a facility that is being called Hell on Earth. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn is notorious for its appalling living conditions and rampant violence. It all kicked off back in November 2023 when Cassie, Diddy's ex, hit him with a lawsuit for the big R, trafficking and more. Diddy's freak-offs were the topic of convo ever since March 2024 and that police raid at his cribs in LA and Miami. That's when this ongoing trafficking investigation led by federal authorities in New York actually started. But it wasn't until September 16th that Diddy got busted in New York. According to the charges, he's facing counts of conspiracy to commit extortion, trafficking by force, fraud, coercion, and even prostitution involving a minor. The police found some insane stuff at his place too. We're talking 1,000 bottles of baby oil, 700 adult toys, some AR-15 rifles, and not to mention devices with disturbing images and videos of the victims. As things stand now, 120 people have filed abuse claims against Diddy, with 25 of them being minors, the youngest just nine years old. Most of these events went down at his parties in LA, New York and Miami or at auditions in his studio. And let's not forget, Diddy used to throw those legendary white parties between 1998 and 2009, where Hollywood's biggest stars showed up. We're talking Leonardo DiCaprio, J-Lo, Mariah Carey, Jay-Z, Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Ashton Kutcher, and many, many more. So let's talk about this wild party Diddy threw, where everyone rocked all white outfits and partied nonstop day and night. In an interview with Oprah back in 2000, 2006, Diddy explained that he wanted the dress code to level the playing field, making sure everyone looked the same with no status differences. But during that party, some leaked photos surfaced, showing young women, half naked and drunk, dancing and getting way too close with the crowd around them. And now, with Oprah's name being linked to Diddy's case, people are straight up shocked. Oprah's known for being a powerful advocate for women and victims of violence. So, her connection to this mess with Diddy has everyone doing a double take. Over the years, Oprah and Diddy have appeared together at a ton of events. One of the biggest, the BET Awards. It's one of the most prestigious events that celebrate black excellence in music, film and TV. And both Oprah and Diddy have been there as guests or presenters since they're both major figures in the black community. They've also crossed paths at international spots like the Cannes Film Festival. Diddy's famous for throwing huge parties there, while Oprah has been a staple in the entertainment world. And of course, they've both been to the Grammys Oprah's made appearances and Diddy's well known as a top producer and rapper. Diddy was even a guest on Oprah's iconic talk show where they chopped it up about his music career, business moves and the struggles he's overcome. Because they're always trying to make something to you and Puffy. Yeah, me and Puffy, me and Maxwell, me, tons of people, me and Mark Anthony who I do, did a duet with. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh -huh. Every day it's somebody new, you know, so... Uh, you know, it's OK because but I'm very private about it. Now, many have thrown shade at Oprah in different ways. We knew for some time that there's a big chance of some A-listers in Hollywood being involved in shady trafficking activities. There's even been talk about 1,000 missing kids and Oprah being mixed up in something illegal. Those rumors tend to stick around if you go and promote people like John of God. And you all know what kind of mess that guy got himself into. Similar to Diddy, actually. So what do you mean you had the surgery well I was a, a skeptical but you know when you have leukemia and someone stay said, with me people because this is as woo woo as I know woo -woo. how I know how this sounds it, it, it sounds woo -woo. like yeah. woo -woo. it sounds crazy <laughs> so anyway uh, Raina, Raina uh, Piscova calls me from uh, down in Abidjan okay she had the surgery I had the surgery now the surgery this is a guy who can do surgery to a thousand people in a room at the same time. This is not, he, he is not somebody who does the surgery, okay? 
okay, he doesn't he doesn't remember any of it that he does. You can watch him do it. He goes, he gets into this thing, and he uh, he picks up these instruments, and you can actually see pictures of the entities that enter his body as he as he does this. I know when you're going down there, you'll see. But honestly, a lot of people think these claims don't have solid proof. This isn't the first time Oprah has been linked to some wild conspiracy theories either. Folks are saying serious allegations like this need to come with real evidence. Nevertheless, Oprah still hasn't responded to these wild allegations, which isn't really surprising. She's usually quiet when it comes to stuff like this and prefers to focus on her stuff. But people are starting to wonder, are these rumors about Oprah being linked to child trafficking somehow connected to the disturbing claims about Diddy? It's funny how Oprah's name keeps on coming up with the worst of the worst. It's not a coincidence. Has anyone questioned how many girls from Oprah's school in South Africa landed up at Diddy's parties? It's not just the fans though. Denzel Washington has publicly criticized Oprah, especially when it comes to sensitive issues in the entertainment industry. While there's not a ton of specific info about Denzel's issues with Oprah, his comments make it clear he has strong opinions. Denzel's issue with Oprah is similar to that of Monique and other black folks in the biz. Oprah is known for the discrimination and underpaying of black actresses. Even though Oprah is seen as a role model for black women, some are accusing her of not actually uplifting these artists. Actress Taraji P. Henson, for instance, revealed that while filming The Color Purple, a film Oprah produced, she was underpaid and exploited. Other actresses like Fantasia Barino and Halle Bailey have also spoken out about being underpaid by Oprah. Amid all this drama, Denzel has emerged as a strong supporter of black artists in Hollywood, always speaking up against the racism and discrimination that's been around forever. Denzel has been a champion for equal pay, opportunity and recognition for black artists. He's gotten a lot of respect for his support of actresses like like Taraji P. Henson and Monique, and he's not shy about calling out the double standards in the industry. It's pretty interesting, though, how Denzel criticizes Oprah, who's a black feminist, for how she treats black actresses. But when it comes to Diddy, who's also black but happens to be a billionaire, Oprah's attitude seems different. Oprah and Diddy actually have a pretty solid connection. Both came from rough backgrounds, Oprah growing up poor in Mississippi, and Diddy facing his own struggles in the music world. Despite their tough beginnings. They've both risen to the top in entertainment and business. They've been friends for years, appearing together at big events like the CFDA Fashion Awards and charity galas. There have even been crazy rumors that Oprah and Diddy might have something romantic going on, especially when they're spotted together at high-profile events or when Diddy gushes about Oprah in interviews. But both have denied these rumors, insisting they're just friends and colleagues. Still, their appearances together always spark a lot of speculation. Some people think Oprah may have helped Diddy maintain his influence in the media and entertainment world. And let's not forget Diddy's famous white parties. Oprah, with her massive influence, has probably been to a few of these. But with all the glitz and glamour come the wild stories. Some guests at Diddy's parties have reportedly been involved in pretty outrageous activities, like wild dancing or daring games. There have even been claims about wine being poured on naked girls. Inside these parties, there are said to be secret rooms for actors, singers and other guests. It's unclear whether Oprah has ever been in these hidden spaces. Both Diddy and Oprah have also been involved in charity work over the years, but there's been some criticism that they haven't done enough to support the causes they claim to care about. People are starting to call them out, saying they could be doing way more for the community. Most agree that Oprah played a significant role in Diddy's rise, even though she did not directly contribute to his career. When Diddy appeared on her show, it exposed him to a larger audience, boosting his public image and expanding his influence in the entertainment industry. Oprah, as a cultural icon, helped Diddy establish his personal brand, and her recognition contributed to creating a more positive image of him in the eyes of fans and investors. Though Oprah did not directly assist Diddy's career development, her influence through media opportunities and social connections is undeniable. But while Oprah remains focused on her work and keeps her business on the low, Diddy continues to face 
face legal troubles. So lately, Diddy's been caught up in some serious legal trouble that's got everyone talking. Just a few days ago, on October 21st, 2024, a bunch of new civil lawsuits hit him in federal court. These lawsuits accuse him of SA at different parties in LA, New York and Las Vegas. The wild part? One of the accusers says she was only 13 years old when it happened. There are claims about spiking drinks and then doing some real foul things while the victims felt dizzy and disconnected. Diddy and his crew were accused of using baby oil laced with GHB and Rohypnol, some straight-up dangerous drugs known as as drugs. These can be slipped into drinks or absorbed through the skin to knock people out. Some of these accusations get even more specific. One woman is saying Diddy assaulted her after the 2000 MTV Awards. Another talks about him doing the same at his Hollywood Hills home just last year. And then there's a guy who says something went down in a department store in New York. It's a lot. And it's not looking good. And it doesn't stop there. A week before all of this, on October 14th, even more lawsuits were filed under New York's Adult Survivors Act. These are also for some disturbing claims. And it's not just women. There's talk about incidents involving men too, with more than 100 people reportedly getting ready to take legal action. Diddy's not only dealing with civil cases, he's facing criminal charges too. He's sitting in jail right now waiting for trial, with some heavy accusations being thrown at him. Diddy's legal team is still saying these claims are all bogus and they want the victim's identities revealed so they can get ready for trial. But the prosecutors? They're holding strong and keeping those names private for now. It's a wild situation. And the big question is, how will this all play out? Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one.